we have something to celebrate here at New Cruise 92.7 FM this uh, wonderful afternoon. Today, you'll be surprised uh, to hear when you hear the names uh, being called out. I'm introducing this afternoon Riverdale Fathers, particularly all the way from the source. From the source, uh, well, not only the source of uh, Yoruba Kingdom, but I'm also the source of the world. <laughs> it is a uh, uh, very, very privilege and a honor today to have in the studio her father all the way from Ilefe, uh, so the credo of culture, the credo of tradition, is Imperial Majesty Oba Enito Adeyeye Ogunwusi or Jaja the Second. Kabiesi. Good to have you in the studio. And I must say that I would want everybody, even they do, even they, even they don't have the microphone, to join me to say ka BSO to you as we have you, as we welcome you to New Cruise FM to do. Kabesi, welcome, sir. We're very proud. We're very good to have you this afternoon. And I must say that since you have come all the way from the source, I know you must have come with a lot of blessings for us. You are an abinga of great things. You have you are you are an abinga of good things. And I know that uh, by the time you are leaving today, Ikere Land, Ekiti Land will know that someone great has come in into Ikere today. Kabesi, once again, we welcome you, Kabesi, sir. Thank you very much. And of course, I'm also quickly. Uh, appreciate uh, our own father here in the Kere Kingdom who has also come with him here to come to the studio. This is not the first time we're having Baba here, but of course uh, he has honored us again in the studio today at New Cruise 92.7 FM, the Ogoga of the Kere Kingdom of Samuel Adu Adejimi Adu Alagbado Kabesi. Thank you very much for coming and honoring your with your presence at New Cruise 92.7 FM today. Again, just like uh, we welcome Kabesi on the office, we want everyone here to welcome Baba the Ogoga of the Kere Kingdom. Kabesi. Uh, and I think, okay, Kabesi, welcome to Thank our you. studio. Thank you. All right, uh, well, uh, our own father here, <laughs> our own father here must uh, acknowledge his presence in the studio as well. Uh, since this, uh, since the birth of this radio station, uh, since uh, we started operation, I'm not sure we've had the honor to have even the man who conceptualized this idea, who thought it wise that Ikere Kingdom, the South radio station, not just a radio station, but was one of the best, with state-of-the-heart equipment, with one of the best personnel, with one of the best, uh, whatever you can call it, as far as radio station is concerned, here in the Kiti State. Uh, the own father, the Ashiwaju of uh, Ikere Kingdom, Kababawa, Ashiwaju Oluwole Oladapo Olani Kwekun S A N O F R. Baba, we welcome you and we're glad to have you. Thank, Thank you. you very much Thank for you. gracing us with your presence today. I must say we're very proud to see you. We're very happy. Even those of us who are staff here, yeah, uh, I must say that we are elated and we're very uh, excited to see you here today. Thank you very much uh, for coming. So quickly, uh, let's go straight. Let's dive straight to the heart of the matter, and I will quickly engage uh, uh, Kabis here in particular on your FIFA. Just a few uh, questions. Uh, uh, like I said, it's not every day that we have the opportunity to host the revered monarchs like the revered, fa revered fathers like this. Kabisi, uh, quickly, let's look at the issue. You must have, you have been sp speaking of many fora. We've been following how you've been contributing. Uh, to major issues in the polity, security, uh, politics, uh, economics, uh, issues uh, concerning the secessionists and all of this issue. But quickly, Kabisi, security issue is one that a lot of Nigerians have, Nigerians have huge concerns, grave concerns about. And it appears that the roles of our traditional rulers have been, uh, in a way, jettisoned. Uh, are traditional rulers still playing a huge role are they still given a role to play in ensuring that uh, the security, even in the interland, in every part of the country, is stabilized? Well, thank you very much. Um, I thank God Almighty for bringing me here today. I will thank specifically a very noble elder statesman a visionary per excellence
someone that God actually spent a special time to actually create. We barely have such peculiar personality, very rare generations and such existence in the entire mankind and I know what I'm saying it's not only the pride of the entire Ikere as the Ashiwaju of Ikere kingdom it's the pride of the entire Yoruba people because to me is someone we should be celebrating every day a very noble elder statesman I say it with all sincerity of purpose if we don't get him involved as far as our race is concerned we haven't achieved anything is worthy to be celebrated every day we can see from things he has done and uh, it's very obvious now and i'll use him as a very functional and practical example of the question you asked me okay, so. security mm. i have to digress because give honor to whom honor is due i can use him as a topic to <laughs> answer you about okay. security because everything in life has a unit from where it all actually began before it will now start to spread development can be localized politics localized empowerment localized everything but look at him i think every one of us here should actually agree to what I'm saying. We deserve to give him that honor because he deserves it. Whoever that wants to grow in life should give the people that have been there that honor. I think I want to give him that loud ovation and clap for him. And I want every one of us to join. <laughs> Ashiwaju Wali Olani Pekum S A N. When you're talking of security, mm. you ask me that question. We're having issues here. If everybody is doing what he's doing in every locality mm. where they came from, we're not going to be having problem of insecurity and that's the truth you asked me a question i said i will use him <laughs> as a practical example mm. to answer mm. even the entire world mm. do you know how many youth he has taken off the street mm. from where they give back to him yorubas will say kadanile kadanita." It's very obvious. And it does things very passionately. If our leaders are doing things the way he does things passionately, it's unfortunate he's a professional mm -hmm. person in his field. He's not a politician. Mm -hmm. Boy, he's a case study. Mm -hmm. If we want to solve the problem of security, pick Chief Wale Olanipekun SAN as a living example then you will know that there will be a problem of security will be resolved. He brought all these initiatives to ease Ruth. It will take a lot of youth off the streets. They will do a lot of programs via this radio station. This is not the only thing he's even doing. He has done so many things in Kingdom of Ikere. Thanks to a very visionary king of Ikea to 
my brother King Oguga of Ikere, we are very close to each other. I just left his palace now. So when we are talking of problem of insecurity, let's be practical. We have been talking the talk, talking the talk. This is a practical example. The youths are too many. Everywhere I do, nobody is looking after them. You must look after the good, the bad, and the ugly. Look at this radio station. If anything happens within Ikea environs now, you can blow it to the air. Crime rate here, because of this station, will have dropped tremendously. I am very sure about that. You can have a perfect system, but if people like him, we can replicate. Ah, nobody fell from heaven now. He came from Mikere land. He's very proud of the kingdom and is giving back to the kingdom and is solving a lot of problems. Look at do so many leaders we have in the private sector. Look at so many leaders we have in the public sector. If all of them go back to their various roots and know the people around them. See, we came here together. He walked freely. He can even go to the road of Ikea and walk freely now. Everybody will come out. Everybody will continue to hail because of the good things he has done. So, He's not going to feel insecure. So what are we talking about? The problems are in our hands. We just like to talk the talk, talk the talk, talk the talk. Let us start picking practical examples. Many of our leaders cannot go back to their constituencies. Mm -hmm. He is here now. Unfortunately, he's a private sector person. He's a professional. He's not a politician. So we should use him as a case study. We have Newton Law of Motion. Faraday law of this. They read about so why can't we read about <coughs> Chief Wale Olani Kekun law of certain security problem out? Mm. We can now. It has become a theory. A theory that has been practical hypothesis all the way to theory, from theory to law. It's very obvious. Hmm. He does things very passionately. I was told today that growing up, he has always been a very finicky person. So I'm not surprised that he went to study law. <laughs> Devil in the details. And look at what he's doing. I was privileged to be interviewed first from this station. He yes, called me back to back to back to back. He's so attentive and he's so particular about things he does. Why will he not excel? So if all our leaders, both in the private sector and public sector, Pay particular attention to their constituencies, their roots. We won't be having this security problem. So today I'm blowing it to the hair. Mm. Chief Woliola Nipeku, theory of resolving security problem in Nigeria. <laughs> that lies. And of course, uh, you cited a very wonderful example that I believe that every one of us have learned one or two things from. If they're just joining us on New Cruise 92.7 FM, you are listening to the voice of uh, the all neo Fife or by Nito. Adeyeyo Gumusi or Jaja the second. Right here in the studios of New Cruise 92.7 FM. We're having a tate a tate and it's been a robust and engaging discourse already. Just in 10 minutes, uh, we're picking things that will make headlines tomorrow, <laughs> I believe, already. So, can be secretly, we don't want to waste the time. But considering how there uh, the situation is right now, yes, you've answered the question, all hands should be on deck. Everybody should get involved. Nigerians, uh, particularly the political office holders and uh, private sector people, should ensure that uh, they create employment and get more people involved uh, so that uh, we won't have all these idle people who we have to take to uh, crimes. Uh, so, but quickly, what do we now to do? How can we now redeem Nigeria? Maybe I should just put it just straightforward. How can we redeem Nigeria now, considering what? how dead the situation is? Well, to redeem Nigeria, it's all about branding. Mm -hmm. You know, um, 
even we Nigerians, we are not patriotic enough. Hmm. I'll go back to Chief Wale again. He's, he's, a, he's a living example to answer our questions. Honestly, he's very patriotic about coming from Ikea. Nigerians are not patriotic about coming from Nigeria. They will hmm. not promote, they will not patronize products from Nigeria. Thanks to COVID-19 now that is forcing everybody to spend hmm. and compelling everybody. They will have left the country. They make money from the country. They do everything from the country. They cannot even brand the country. They will say, I'm tired of that country. Country where you are making money from. You will use your mouth. And there's a lot of power in the thong. So we need to start to brand our nation right now. The way Chief Woliola Nikpekun is branding Ikere Ekiti. In Ekiti land and Ekiti as a state, I remember when he opened the church, when he built the church, he brought the whole Nigeria here. He brought the whole, everywhere completely shut down. Hair mm. itself, people <laughs> flying. We had traffic on hair. <laughs> so let everybody go and shut down their places. <laughs> and then start to brand it. He has branded Ikere. Mm. So let us brand Nigeria too. The bigger picture of where we all came from. So the problem is... You said, how do we resolve the mm. issue of this country? This Let country. us be patriotic. We are not patriotic enough, patriotism. all of us. So patriotism should be our watchword. Mm. In fact, our government should be more serious about patriotism. Very important. Every contract they give, they must break it down. What are the components of Nigerian, Nigerian-ness in those contracts? Anything they do, what's, they should break it down. So they should rebrand the country and they should stop condemning the country. Mm. You will go to some governors, you look at their table, they are giving you food to eat. The dinner, beautiful dinner. You will look around. Not even one of the products is made in that no. state. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Including the butter that you are using. You will see made in Holland. <laughs> made in this. You will just wonder, are we? what nation are we? We need to be patriotic now going forward. Mm. God help us. We need to be patriotic. Can we see very short period at our disposal? We don't want to waste your time. But uh, quickly, ahead of 2023, uh, you are the face of the Yoruba nation. But not only the Yoruba nation, some of us who understand the uh, history deeper, you are the face of the world that you sit over there and uh, govern the cradle. <laughs> but let's quickly. Let's look at 2023. Yoruba people, what do we want ahead of 2023? Uh, is it restructuring before 2023? Or is it the presidency that uh, we want? You are making me to speak too much grammar here. <laughs> 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 uh, this is not every day. This. Uh, it's not every day. Okay, it's okay. I will speak grammar, no problem. But uh, it's all right. It's okay. Well, to the glory of God, um, 2023, we all know that it's another dispensation that we're looking forward to. Mm. Our main objective as a traditional ruler is to ensure that there will be peace, ensure that everything will go very seamlessly, mm. and the best should emerge for our country. What is critical is we need to refresh this nation we shouldn't continue to do things the way we are doing it. Because if you continue to do the same thing over and over and expect a different result, it is very stupid. And we don't want to live a stupid life again. A life of stupidity. We don't want that. We are praying that new leaders will emerge. We are praying that the country will continue to stand united. But something must be done in a, a very appropriate manner. I am a traditional ruler, over good, over bad, over ugly. I shouldn't say, oh, it's not politics that I want to use to use the throne of Odudua to play. It's not right. They will all come. We will all pray for them. But our own objective is for unity of our country, unity of Yoruba people. For them to do things right, they might have their dissenting voices. But mm. what is critical is for them to keep up with peace, unity, and progress. Mm. So that if anything should happen, God forbid, 
we don't want anything that will bring us back word again. Mm. So for us, we're just praying for them. Okay. We don't want to get involved with politics. We want to continue to look and check out the best that we emerge from anywhere, particularly in Yoruba land. God help us and Amen. God keep us alive till today. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Kabi, I must say we're done, but uh, just before we go, we just want your advice, your prayer uh, to the people, everyone who's listening to you right now, first in English and then in Yoruba, just your word of advice to everyone listening right now, first in English and then you wrap it up in Yoruba. Okay, well, you said we are done. It's okay. <laughs> we're done. We're uh, done. Right? Uh, if you are saying we are done, but if you don't want me to go, you can keep asking me questions. <laughs> <about Chief. laughs> no, we want you to go. That's why. But if, uh, if, no, it, will, it, it will be unfair if we don't uh, get no, your no, blessings no, no. now that you have come around. But now I just you. gave you a very good hint now. <laughs> if you want me to stay for another two or three just, hours, just, your just keep Kabi asking you. me questions about you. <laughs> Respectfully. Kabi and I will stay. Eh? <laughs> anyway, to the glory of God, my advice to each and every one of us in this country is leadership is basically stewardship. People don't know that. That you are a leader, but you are a steward. Mm -hmm. It is when our leaders realize that they run errands on behalf of some people, because there's leadership and there's followership. But when you call yourself leaders, when you start to serve people naturally, a lot of things will be better in our country. So I want to advise, I know things are tensed, tension everywhere, insecurity everywhere. What is critical is for us to continue to exercise that patience for things to be right, we are still very lucky in this part of the country, southwestern Nigeria. It's still the most secured place. And that's the truth. Every other place in Nigeria, every corner, it's unrest. So our prayer is for us to continue to enjoy the little peace we are experiencing. For us to continue to look forward to our creator for things to be better for us i believe strongly that someday very soon nigeria they always say will be great again mm -hmm. no nigeria will actually be great mm -hmm. if you say again that means we are using some benchmark. But we need a very new, fresh benchmark. The country will be great. Mm -hmm. In everything we do, God Almighty will keep our leaders. Mm -hmm. They are trying their best, mm -hmm. both in the private sector and in the mm -hmm. public sector. The followers will continue to see and feel the light at the end of the tunnel. Things that are tinged, I believe and pray that it will come down someday. Alone, Lord Mary, Oba, Tiomole Ojo Bobo, Tunshule Ojo Bobo, Orisha Oki, Tumbuju Wo Bobo Orisha Le, Oni Akoda, Oni Asheda, Oni Alaf Lafunfu Bo. Oba tu terere kari aye tu fisomo bura biya show. Ki olon ulu dumari kushamono wa. Kama shishi. Kama shije. Kama shiwi. Kama shifo. Kama shilete. Ki ama fo jo lo jo lo. Ki ile kuma guno mo wa. Ki olon ulu dumari. Ati gogo e sin dale le karo u jire. Pa akpa julo e sin dale e le kiti. Ilu i kere ti mo walo ni. Ki arako ma de gogo a ras. Ase u jwa. Ki o lono lu du mari. Kuba mi da bo bo gogo. Ase u jwa. 
ki won pe lori ite asiwaju ati gbogbo awon mo lu kere ki olorun olodumare ko ba mi da won si ibi gigala ti mbojo ibi gigala ma mbosu ibi giga ni ka ti ma ba won gbogbo nti mo wile ni latori ite o tu a o ni legbeji amuji kutu we a we riri jago o ba inoja o dano o borun ja o dorun o ba pankara lori omi o teri o ba igbala loruko ta n pe e o dua ate woro tori iwo na ni onile iwo ni olorun o fi fun iwo lo te gbogbo edo ni oruko gbogbo awon alaseku wa patapata ati esin dalele ka ro ojire gbogbo nti mo wule ni ki aroko romo kori be ko se be o ko se be kori be orisa oke olodumare ti mu lo le ase o de ti gba ase gun allah se ori so kabi so awon indulgence to just call on baba ogoga of ikere kingdom to quickly a prayer word of prayer for people and to appreciate uh kabi se do nudisha for coming around just a few minutes yes uh, i'm grateful to god for today uh, this is not the first time that the baba or ne will come to ikere he is here again and it's a sign of blessing it's a sign of peace a sign of progress uh, particularly i have one of the men that I recognize as a pillar, a great pillar, not only for Ikere but for Yoruba land, in the Ashwaju of Ikere Kingdom, Chief Oluwole Oladapo Lani Prekum. Today, the two elders are here, the two Babas are here. I feel blessed and I believe there is blessing on Ikere Kingdom today. Uh, I pray. Uh, Baba Oni is the Baba of all the Yoruba of us. But I take the privilege of my position as the Ogoga of Ikere to also pray for him that he will, he will live long. Yeah. He will live long. Yeah. He will live long. Yeah. You can see that God has imbued him with wisdom. More wisdom, more wisdom in all ways god will bestow it on him yes. strength and all that he needs to apply, to continue to pilot the affairs of yoruba land god will give him yes. i pray for she for uh, you carry everybody in your hearts to help to raise people up you say you want other people to come up in a career it shall be so in jesus name yes. you that you continue to give it is said that Givers never lack. You will never lack. Amen. You are up there. You will never come down. Amen. The glory and the honor that God has given you continue to increase. Amen. Uh, we are blessed to have you. Uh, Aroli Odua has prayed for you. It shall be so. Amen. It shall be so. Amen. Your children will be greater than you. Amen. All this effort that you are making. This uh, radio station is not just for your career. It's for humanity. Amen. It will grow from strength to strength. Yeah. I've said it, but I've also confirmed that there will be a television station in this place. It, Amen. Shall, be, it shall be so in Jesus' name. Amen. I greet all our people. Uh, the Yuletide is here. Uh, we will celebrate it in happiness, Amen. in in, uh, in in wealth, Amen. in good health, Amen. and we continue to have peace in the current kingdom. Amen. Indeed, in Ekiti and in Nigeria as a whole. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Kabisi, the good girl of Ikere Kingdom. So, the Ashwajo of Ikere Kingdom, uh, our father. In continuation of your role as a unifier, and I said, Kabisi, I might be around today. And you said, Ashwajo, if you'll be around today, I wouldn't mind paying you a courtesy visit. Second time, within the past four or five years, who am I? Like the biblical Sarkios, the Lord Jesus said unto him when he visited him, he was a short man, and Gabriel said, you are the tallest in this hall. 
Can you let me just, by way of digression, I go back to Sarkis later. <laughs> God has wonderfully and fearfully created you. Tall, handsome, your mien is disarming. Your nuances are exciting. Your smile, you know, you wear the smile like a cloth, like a perfume, yeah, yeah. like a coffee. Can you see? Recall when you mounted the throne of your ancestors, the throne of Yoruba land. I read out to you. I said you are representing all of us, and all of us owe a duty to give you our support. We can't do less because you are a symbol. You are a symbol, and you are also symbolic. We want to thank God for you, Kabiesi, the only of the source. We are doing well. I recall that a week or so after you assumed office, you traveled down to Oyo to first felicitate with the Allah of Oyo and a sigh of relief that peace was gradually returning to Yoruba land. And Igbani, Unsawao, and let me say this. Um, Yoruba land, in terms of relativity, is the safest part of Nigeria today. And we thank our stars, we thank God, and we thank you. Leadership. Now I come back to Sarkis. Jesus said unto him, he said, today, salvation has entered your domain. Mm -hmm. And I say it in Yoruba, you have come to our humble abode here. We do our business, where we do our presentation, our broadcasting, New Cruise FM. And I say to all, members of staff here today salvation has entered this place yeah. it's a new dawn a new beginning a dawn of transformation because it's also a dawn of revelation because we've revealed a lot to us no wonder we advise them that this is the digging deep program they should start with your royal majesty as between you and me, Kabiesi, I am your subject. Because Obam Baluri Yungbubun, I am your subject. And I don't feel ashamed saying that. And every son and the daughter of Yoruba land, we must support you. And let it baru kutinyi. Ojo deni tinyo. Any shubu around. Any shubu emio. Alayo ni sonyo. Ilayo ni yonyo. Agbalayo ni benyo lo. Ede ni bojo lo jolo. To my royal father, the Kabiesi, the Uruga of Ikele, we've been on for quite some time. We grew up together. We played football together. And um, it's been like this, Kabiesi. You know, I always tell you, what is place to be the hub of ideas? of intellectualism not they are not partisan they are free and um, one good things to thrive from this place and uh, as god has, as god will have it and as god will always have it they is one of the best within this axis and our governor gave testimony, eloquent yes. one, about this radio station two days ago. Yeah. And I want to encourage you. It's an opportunity. You know, Kabiesi, newsmen, they will not allow it gain. It's just like that um, woman in the Bible that I will not allow you to go. And just like Jacob, biblical Jacob, who said, oh, do this angel, I will fight you, I will grab you. That's why they 
I want to apologize on their behalf. <laughs> they will not allow. Because you see, you are the biggest of the fishes in the ocean. <laughs> we appreciate you, sir. Have you seen you go back to the source, you go back home? We we'll always remember this day. Today, write the date down. In fact, if I were you, I would bring the visitor's book. Is where well. it? And I will ask Kabir to with endorse us. it. Oh, sir, I trust you. I trust you. And please, you ask KBSC to scribble something down. And also, whatever KBSC scribbles down, is done prayerfully. One sop, a lot of to do one more lucky lashe. I said, they war. You did war. KBSC, we appreciate you, sir. And then maybe by the time you come next. I don't want to, okay, sir. By the time you come next, uh, you might find a new, a new outfit. You Amen. have been uh, encouraging us. Amen. You have been encouraging us. And have you see where you live? And the God will do it. Amen. The Kabir so would uh, ask you to come and give us encouragement mm -hmm. and also do something. Mm -hmm. We appreciate you, sir. Mm -hmm. God bless you over and over and over and over and over. Amen. God bless Yoruba land. Amen. God bless Nigeria. Amen. And God bless the, his human race. Amen. Thank you, Kabir. Right. Thank you, Kabir. Right. 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 And thank you. Again, you are Bawa to you cabies. Could you lay you? Are you new? Are you new? Any first call? Cabies. 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 Am I down? Oh, you bump and cock on fidelity. Cosi canton gen nine point nine percent fidelity is to be hundred percent fidelity, loyalty. A jaw, a jaw. Cherry by shame, you know. Only Babawa Ocon Connica Fiba won't look, but you are dura. I want to then shut dura for you. God bless you. Thank you very much. I trust uh, the legal luminary, the legal bigo. Well, always ready, <laughs> ever eloquent. Uh, one of the men that has got the gift of the gab that I've seen in the whole world. Uh, you you always learn something from him every time um, he speaks. Thank you very much. The Shuajo of uh, Ikera Kingdom Chief Olu Oluolada Polani Kwekun SN OFR. Thank you very much. And most sincerely, uh, our Nirisha Kabesi, we appreciate you for coming into the studios of New Cruise 92.7 FM today's Imperial uh, Majesty Oba. Enito, I dear you, Guri, the Ojaja the second. We sincerely appreciate you, KBC, sir. And our father, the Goga of the Kingdom, Oba Samuel Adejimi Adualagbadu. We sincerely appreciate you, KBC, for coming around. Everyone at New Cruise Nine Two Point Seven FM, from her general manager, Mr. Jide Ogunluyi, to every other person, we say a very big thank you to you, KBC, sir, and the Ashwa of the Kingdom. Thank you for coming, sir. We have something. After all, we be Oh my my, new cruiser family is at it again! Introducing a toy garden, so beautiful to behold. Beautiful? That's an understatement. At New Cruise FM Toy Garden, children have got the chance to play with different kind of toys, teletubbies, and a bouncing castle, to mention but a few. Do you also know that from the month of October, there will be a monthly birthday party for birthday celebrants of each month every last Sunday of the month? Here's how you go, do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie Let me also inform you that celebrants with their friends and family 
families who are willing to pay a ticket fee of just 1,000 naira will have the opportunity to experience stand by photography session, beautiful birthday cake, super packaged gift items, lots to eat and take home, as well as live session on radio to greet their loved ones. Join us every last Sunday of the month by 12 noon at the premises of New Cruise 92.7 FM. Kajola Ikere Ekiti pay just 1,000 naira whether as a celebrant or as a well wisher, you are guaranteed to enjoy our monthly birthday full package. Remember to come with your face marks and for more inquiries, whether as an individual, as a school or religious body, call 0702-526-0233-0803-787-484 or 0808-586-3433. This is a subsidized birthday party you cannot afford to miss for just 1,000 naira. Hmm. New Cruise FM Toy Garden. It's fun unlimited. And your Dumba Balaye, oh yeah, kill one man to pay. A Yilofa, Tilisha, New Cruise 92.7 FM, Fida Ogba, Ishiri Modesile. Nio, ni bi ti awon mo lojo ibi tebi tara ti ojulumo yo ti ma da wa idunu oloso osu ni gbogbo sunday ojo sin mi to ba keyin loso osu irede pelu egberun kan naira pere lati owo omo lojo bi awon ore ati ebi ni ko kan ti yo si fun won lanfani lati ya photo lo ni ranran won yo tun gi akara oyinbo lori sirisi o ke ai moye ebun lolokan ojo kan lo wa nle fun gbogbo olokopa to ba san egberun kan naira yi o to sibe o dije ni mu wa ni le biba leyin eye o ni gbogbo Kopa yo lanfane ati ki awon obi ati ore won lori radio wa Ago meji la oson ni bogbo ojo isimi to ba keyin losu le to aye ojo ibi awon omo yi yo ma waye o Eyin obi pelu egberun kan naira ale ba yin se aye ye ojo ibi fo mo yin ti yo dun ti yo si larinrin E ma gba gbe aso ibomu yin be ba nbo o fun ekun rere alaye lori ibi o se ko awon omo yin wa so gba isere mode ti new cruise night 2.7 fm yala bi shoshi mo se lase tabi lewe e pe 0803 Seven eight seven four eight four. Tabi zero eight zero eight five eight six three four three three. New Cruise ninety two point seven FM. Kadano nye drum. Kegbe bi a yero. Lo jawa logun. Whether as an individual, as a school, or religious body, call 0702-526-0233-0803-787-484 or 0808-586-3433. This is a subsidized birthday party you cannot afford to miss for just 1,000 naira. Mm. New Cruise FM Toy Garden. It's fun unlimited. Oh,